On Radio 97, it's a Thursday morning, which means it's time to talk law. Our resident lawyer, Despina Priala, of boutique law firm Priala Legal in Runaway Bay, with us every Thursday. She brings in all her textbooks and her legal expertise, providing some general advice on the latest hot topics. She has experience that spans more than 25 years in areas including property and commercial law. She also prepares wills as part of estate planning and litigation. She's with us once again. Hi, Despina. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, Brooke. Good morning, Desi. Uh, so this morning we have a very interesting topic because this one specifically really involves our listeners. So Queensland Government, they're seeking public opinion about two huge matters by a four-minute online survey. So can you tell us what are these matters and why is it so important for us to get involved? Yes, so this is all about sunset clauses and deposits under off-the-plan contracts. So uh, people will perhaps hopefully have their ears pricked already um, because it's been some very controversial topics uh, uh, and issues that have arisen, uh, particularly in the last six to 12 months in Queensland. And that's really come about because of the pandemic. And uh, unexpectedly and surprisingly through COVID, we had the surge of people wanting to move to Queensland more. So the increase of um, developments, construction, projects, um, has occurred over the last two years and it's continuing. And so we've had this rush of people wanting to come into Queensland, uh, wanting to permanently live here, uh, buying off the plan, has become has really increased. Um, so and and of course, what we've had unexpectedly again is this massive increase in market value over the last two years um, and and construction costs. So all of that combined um, has really pushed through these off the plan projects and people buying into them and signing off the plan contracts. Now, um, there's been some controversial issues about developers terminating contracts under the sunset clause provisions. Mm -hmm. And there's also been some issues arising uh, in relation to the early release of deposits under off the plan contracts, which is unusual. But what the Queensland government uh, wants to do is to have a review of the legislation and really um, curtail some of these issues and hopefully provide some uh, amendments to the legislation next year that will provide better security. So what uh, the Palaszczuk government uh, now said is, look, um, the Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Shannon Fentiman, she's been committed to reviewing the legislation and she came out, I think, six months ago, uh, approximately to say that she was going to do this. So now what she's done is she wants to listen to the concerns or she has listened to the concerns of buyers and they've now put these surveys online for public consultation, and she's committed to reviewing um, all of the information that comes through on these online surveys. So the online surveys are targeted to consumers. So we're talking about buyers and developers. So when we go and talk about buyers, we're, we're talking about people who are, are thinking of buying under and off the plan, who, have, who want to sign contracts, people who have already signed off the plan contracts, and those buyers who have done that and have their contracts terminated. Mm. And yeah. so obviously there's there's plenty of people with experience uh, here. So uh, it's a great chance for those who've had, uh, well, I guess, good um, a good experience, but also a bad experience to put, uh, put uh, their two cents worth in as well. Exactly. So um, I am very much encourage people out there to go online and do the survey. Now, I have actually done the survey. So I've actually done it from a consumer's perspective uh, with my hat on as acting for buyers, right? Mm. And I've also done it from the developer's point of view because we act for developers as well in our practice. So I've put my developer solicitor hat on and I've conducted that survey as well. So the questions are very similar, um, but there are some differences from the consumer to developer. So generally we are talking about the two big issues, which is your sunset clauses and your deposits. So if we can just talk about that generally, so we can remind listeners what this is all about. So um, there's always been the sunset clauses in off the plan contracts. So uh, developers can traditionally terminate uh, off the plan contracts under the sunset provision. And the sunset clauses in Queensland can be up to a maximum of five and a half years allowed under the current legislation. Um, and typically we see three, three and a half, four years, depending on the type of project. So a bigger project, say with a massive uh, high rise, would have a longer sunset clause because it's going to take longer to construct, mm. um, as opposed to a small townhouse. 
um, development that's only got, say, 20 townhouses. So it depends on the project. You'll always have a sunset clause because that's what the legislation dictates. And then the developer is allowed to terminate if they haven't finished it by the sunset date. So you might think, well, what's all the fuss about? Well, uh, since the increase in um, uh, values of properties, we've seen some, not all developers, uh, not complete, use a sunset clause to get out of the contract mm -hmm. and then perhaps yeah. resell at a higher price. Mm -hmm. So not all developers do that. Uh, sometimes there are very valid reasons why they haven't got the project completed by the sunset date, mm -hmm. but sometimes not. So when you go through the survey, they do talk about the New South Wales situation and, and, and um, uh, the laws. And I've brought that up on the show before. So in New South Wales, there was a big overhaul of the car, of the legislation a few years ago. So now in, in New South Wales, developers just can't terminate under sunset clauses. So in other words, it's a unilateral right, right? So you get to the end, they can just terminate. You have to, in New South Wales, get an agreement between the two parties or you have to go off to the court and get a court order. Wow. Yeah. And they do bring that up in the survey and they say, well, what do you think about this? Do you think that this would be a fairer outcome? Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I really encourage people to go online and conduct the survey because you've got Shannon Fenterman out there being committed to reviewing the legislation and seeing if we really do need to make these changes. Okay. Um, now, the other important change I want to talk about briefly uh, in this segment is deposits. So when I act for buyers, I um, we talk about deposits and how secure the deposit is. So what we're talking about is you've got to pay your 10% deposit typically under and off the plan. And then that deposit is held by the developer's solicitors, typically in their trust account. Okay. So uh, there's a slight loophole in Queensland unfortunately, that um, the deposit may be able to be released to the developer early, which is a big no-no in my view. The deposit is a deposit. The nature of it being it's got to be held until completion of the project. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, or if a party breaches, then the contract will say who's entitled to the deposit depending on who breaches yeah. the contract. Yeah. And there so, have been there have yep. been examples in the past, haven't there, where the deposits have been released, and so the developers have actually got their their money on that uh, on their head. So the developers have actually got their hands on that money. Yeah, exactly. So this has really come about by uh, the, um, a probe into this uh, project called the Brookwater Resort. So there was a probe done uh, back oh, in December 2019, uh, and that was done by the Office of Fair Trading. What happened there is that the contract in that Brookwater Resort project actually allowed for the release of the deposit early mm. and then the developer went broke. So those deposits were gone. Buyers never recovered them. Now that's just wrong. So that loophole has to be closed. Buyers might not be aware of that. And this is one of the many reasons why I recommend you never go into an off the plan without getting advice because that particular contract that you're about to sign may very well contain a clause and you don't know that says, oh, the deposit's going to be released early. Yeah. Right. Um, yep. and, and you just can't. And unknowingly, you sign a contract that says that. So the law says if you agree to that, oh, well, the deposit can be released That's early. It. And if that developer yeah. goes bust, money's gone. So that really needs to be closed, that particular loophole and shut down. So if you want to have your say on that issue, then you really need to do this survey. Um, it's very, very important because that really should not be allowed or, or we shouldn't have this loophole in Queensland. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable that it hasn't been closed yet. Yep. To think that it's only happening now is kind of astonishing. Do you have any idea what sort of money some people might have lost in those instances? Uh, I mean, are we talking 100000 Are we talking, you know, more? Well, uh, well, individual buyers would have only potentially lost up to 10%, 10%. deposit. 10%, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and that's a lot of money depending mm. on what the price yep. was. Yep. Any money that's lost um uh in the wrong way of course is is never going to be a fair outcome um so uh this is really really important and when you say it's taken some time any consultation process any review of legislation will always take time but what i like here is that uh the attorney general in queensland is committed to making to at least reviewing yeah. and potentially making changes but it is a long process because you've got the public the public's view and the public's um, uh, opinions that are going to be considered. You've then got the professional 
um, uh, industries such as ourselves as lawyers who are going to contribute. Um, and then you've got certain um, individual uh, committees. So, I mean, you've got the Queensland Law Society um, that has to provide their own contribution. You've got uh, Property and Development Law Committee of the Queensland Law Society, which I'm a, a member of, which has to provide their own contributions. So it all takes time. But in the end, I think we'll see a much fairer outcome, hopefully next year. Yeah, first step to make a change. And those surveys do close uh, 14th of September, Despina? They, they do, 14th of September. All righty. And you can head to www.qld.gov.au to search Sunset Clauses, and we'll share this to our Facebook page as well at Breakfast Radio 97. And coming up next, what is a mutual will? And is it even a will at all? I'm confused. Stay with us if you don't know and want that answer. Despina has the details on The Brecky Show. You're listening to Radio 97.